Good afternoon, Marnie here. Welcome to my channel, Yarny Marnie's Crochet Corner. And I have a tag video that I am doing today. Um, she did tag people in it, but she also said it could be an open tag. And this is by uh, Sam at Memphis Makes. Uh, she created this tag. And uh, so I was going to prepare for it, but I didn't. I forgot about it. <laughs> But I do want to get it out today, so I am just, uh, I've got, I see him, and Mike. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to look at the questions right here and just kind of answer off the cuff. <laughs> so hopefully I don't stumble all over myself trying to answer these questions, but I wanted to do this tag. So thank you, Sam, for creating this tag. Um, so... Uh, there are 10 questions, and the first one is, what is your favorite stitch to, stitch to use for wearables? Um, I don't really wear a lot of wearables, uh, or make a lot of wearables, except for maybe shawls and uh, scarves, but I'm probably going to have to go with uh, a typical double crochet for scarves and shawls uh, let's see number two what is your favorite stitch to use for household items um, I'm gonna have to say probably uh, a half double crochet maybe even a single I'm looking for <laughs> sorry I had a, a couple of people that I was gonna tag and I wrote it down somewhere now I don't know where I put that list so <laughs> <laughs> looking for it right here um, uh, all right so number three what is your favorite stitch to use for blankets uh, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if she's looking for just a, a stitch or a stitch pattern uh, the stitch pattern would be the stitches created you know used to create the pattern. Uh, stitch wise, just as far as just a stitch by itself, I would say half double crochet because I like a, a tighter closed stitch. Uh, a, something that creates something more dense. Uh, as far as stitch patterns, uh, uh, I don't know other than a mosaic, but to me that's a that's a form of crochet. That's a crochet form. Um, but I guess I'll say uh, a half double crochet for my favorite stitch as far as blankets. Uh, I don't know about a stitch pattern. Probably like the falling leaves or the cobblestone, which would be uh, I think the the cobblestone is. Uh, <clears throat> All in one stitch, a single, a half double, double in each each of the stitches that are stitched into, um, yeah, single, half double, double. Uh, I also really like, and I can't remember what it is called. Oh, it is called the even moss stitch. I do like that too. Um, let's see. <clears throat> what this number four? What is your least favorite stitch? I'm with Mike on this, the Pico. I'm not a fan of the Pico. Don't like Picos. Then again, it also depends on what kind of yarn I'm using. I don't like Picos when I am working with thread. Um, now, I have gotten to where I actually change the way I do my Picos, and they're a little bit easier to do. Um, coffee. This is uh, Pete's Caramel Brulee. I got a little bit of heavy cream in it. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm going to go with the Pico. Hands down. Number five. What is your least favorite stitch or way of joining pieces together? I don't like doing uh, like a whip stitch or a mattress stitch. I, I don't like those at all. <clears throat> if I'm going to join pieces together, 
I like using the uh, dainty cluster as far as like squares, um, like what uh, Anya uses at Ophelia Talks. Uh, that's the way I like to join squares together. Let's see, number six. What stitch have you not yet tried but want to? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that there's, there is a stitch that I haven't tried. I've been crocheting for 47 years, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's probably a lot of them that I haven't tried. I don't know. I can't think of any right now. Um, let's see. Uh, number seven. What type of crochet stitching do you most enjoy? Mosaic. <laughs> Hands down, mosaic. And then next in line would probably be the interlocking fillet crochet. Uh, I'm not a fan of of uh, graph gans at all. I don't like that. I don't like, I don't care for tapestry crochet. I have done, I did a, uh, a graph gan, a corner to corner graph gan. Don't know that I would do it again. It was a great big Spider Man face that I did for my nephew. Um, and if I remember, I'll try to put a picture of it right here. Um, number eight. What stitch most impresses you in a crocheted piece? Um, as well, I don't know about stitch, but maybe stitch patterns. Um, cable stitches, those are, to me, those are really impressive. Uh, and not as uh, intimidating as I used to think they were. Uh, let's see. Number nine. Is there a stitch you really loathe doing and will avoid patterns that contain it? <laughs> I don't know that I will avoid patterns that contain it, but I loathe the Pico. Um, let's see, number 10. What is your most favorite stitch, basic and combination? Uh, uh, I'm going to have to go with uh, the cobblestone. Uh, which would be the single half double double in the same stitch in also the falling leaves which would be a single two doubles in the same stitch uh, uh, the, the falling leaves I found f uh, by uh, Jadan stitches and then the cobblestone is uh, Mowgli blog uh, Tamar Kelly uh, so yeah um, so that is all of the questions uh, I don't I don't have my I can't find my little list of oh there we go <laughs> all right so these people have probably been tagged but I'm gonna go ahead and tag them anyway um, I am tagging Laura at Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming Darla at Crafty Yarn Owl with Darla and then also Litsa at Coco's Crochet so those are the people that I am tagging, but please feel free to do this tag if you would like to, because I would love to see other people's answers. And if you do this tag, let me know in the comments below and I will make sure to go watch it. So thank you, Sam and Mike at Manfa's Makes for creating this tag. That was fun. Um, I always love talking about anything crochet related. Uh, so that's going to do it for now until tomorrow, which is Tile of the Week Thursday, and I'm really excited about it. So uh, if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.